So if you've just finished watching the last one that comes before this, um, it literally starts off with the same shot, which is, I don't know, for some reason, kind of funny. Oh, God. Right. Mm. So tempted to just roll over and go back to sleep, but, you know, it's just not possible, is it? It's 10.42, so... I've got just under two hours till I actually need to leave this place. An hour and fifty minutes or something. Um, I start work right at two o'clock. I'm gonna have ten now. Whether or not I want to go, and kind of vary for different reasons. I saw yesterday, and like, I'm not feeling well. Like I'm severely sick. But you know, if it's at the same time, I'd like consider some of my basic contractual hours. Um. I also do pay tax to national insurance, so if I want to make a decent wage, I kind of have to go on. Because, like, the worst I can make him work, right? If I only did my contractual hours, I keep in mind, this is before tax national insurance comes up, before the worst I can make is £749. So, take off your tax national insurance. Let's say that's 700 then take off me dodging an eight and a half hour shift. You can start to see the problems. So, I can't have to pick boys here. I've been going. I don't think I'm going to challenge him no matter. So, I'm thinking. I'll go in for a shower. I'll wash my hair. I, I think maybe that'll make me feel a little better. Although the weather's like I said, obviously, I mean, I'm still in bed. But. Well, I've literally not even done a deep dog spin so you thought like 20 minutes a week. So, I suppose I better get out of bed, even though I don't really want to. See, if I want the phone in to sit, I have to give them two, I have to tell them, two hours before the sort of a shift. That's as much notice as I have to give them, so, yeah. Mm. I struggle out with the point. stages where it's like, I have anxiety about opening my bank account because I want to see whatever number pops up. I guess, but I probably should check it so I can budget myself. Technically, I only need to really have money for four days. Um, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And first day, so technically, oh wait, shit, I don't need it for five days. Because usually I don't count the day I'm getting paid for those days. Oh, God. I'm very doubtful that there's 50 quid in that bank. Shit. Right. Let's just get that bed done. Because, you know, that is a priority after all. Of 
Where is the seat of it? Well, I don't know. But I suppose I'm wearing a couple of these have come under. That's weird, I don't know where the whole thing does. Up. I guess I'm going to work. This is the one where, you know, um, as we have to describe it, this will be the longest part of it. I don't plan on making any part of it longer, plus, you know, train would play a trick in that. Yeah. Um, just chip those holes down there, you know. Outstanding again. So they can't put them. But I say that, right? But if you're watching this, technically the ones before are not outstanding because you're seeing this one. You're just not going to see it on, on on the day it was made. things to talk about here and there so one of them is I still feel like shit <laughs> uh, yeah. second of all um, there's a potential one this was discussed heavily last night is we might potentially be bringing back a night shift on work which also you know I think it's what 73 or 74 night shift logs that exist there's some number around that right like early 70s so that may be returning not maybe returning next week which um could be interesting so um it's more or less to do all this stock take and so uh, I think about that this channel's only actually witnessed one of those but basically it's like there's a potential, right, that this dog take because of the lack of staff might get pushed back, and I'm really hoping it does. Because in two weeks, I don't want to go do a stock take. Like, if you don't know what a stock take is, right, say you've got a whole bunch of boxes, a cocoa box on a shelf, and you have to individually count them all, write down how many there was, or maybe just stick a little bit of paper in the shelf, and move on. And see if you find crap behind it that's been stuffed there by the recovery staff. When they've been facing up the front of the shelves, it's a pain in the ass. See if you end up with something like, I the last stock take, I ended up in the cleaning aisle, and you're not done in five minutes. It's like, see you've got an entire bay, like an entire shelf section. You can maybe do an hour on one of those. And it's like, what's it? I end up with bin bags on it, the store of mine, and that took forever because you had all the sixty boxes between. Three shelves alone. The bottom two of all these giant kind of min mags. And see, trying to do these other boxes. Like I, I couldn't just, like, if the box is completely full, I couldn't just turn the box around and look at the quantity and write it because what if there's one that's a wrong brand that's in there? So it's like, I'm empty them all, where I put them all back. Oh my fuck. The only, and someone will probably find this funny, and it is kind of funny. The only easy part about that I would have been doing the bleach. But see all the bits at the bottom, like all your body kind of, all your kind of sprays and scents and all that kind of shit. Like all the spray bottles. Those were all shoved in the mix and you can't get like, So say all of them are black and they're one brand. For instance, BM has also this brand called Fabulosa. Right, so say you've got all these black bottles of Fabulosa, but because of different flavors, you have to count them individually. And, oh my it is a pain in the ass. I spent the whole night in cleaning. I don't think I moved. No correction. 
I moved eventually, I got shoved into the health and beauty aisle, I was there for like 20 minutes. Oh my god, see that feeling when you walk out of the store on one of those? It's fucking brilliant. Like, words do not describe how fucking nice it is to walk out of that store, because the problem with stock take is, see if you're under the age of 18, then you're guaranteed by law, you're out that door at 10 o'clock. Which, is good and bad, it's good because some of them don't work, it's bad because they don't work, so, for instance, we were in the cleaning line, right, with one guy, right, um, and basically, he was firing up, and we just thought, right, he told you to do this, do you know when we were going to recount all his shit, because he just fucker fucked around, quite a lot of them did that, which, it's like, it's like ah, they get out, oh, they'll be here all night, they can do it, which is, you know, not a great attitude to have in that situation, <laughs> so, yeah, brilliant. Um, another one, let's see, what was I doing the one before that? I was traffic back on previous dog takes. Oh no, the one before that was even more annoying. I got, I can't try to remember where I was the whole shift, but I know that I ended the shift. <sighs> In conflict. And it was... The packs of extra chewing gum in the hole. Like, see how long that shit takes to open every box, take them all out, and count them. It's fucking unreal. And I know the first that the one before the one before that was one where I jumped around constantly. You know, I started off in DIY. I got chucked into cleaning for a bit. I got thrown into the first aisle. Like that one, I moved around, and I think that was the second one I did. The first store take I did, right, and this was like March of 2022, that one was a pain in the ass. Because it was my first one, so I wasn't really experienced in it. And I tell you, see the rules and things that they apply during those, definitely fucking, like, see them after now, I wouldn't be bothered, but I'm going to fix my hair, but, but, see the first thing, it's a fucking pain. Um, so the first time I got stuck in the station aisle, and I thought, oh, this will be easy. Right, because it's just notebooks, I'll move on to another section. Right, and I also had the idiotic mindset that see if we make this stock take last longer, we get more money, which a few people daft, were daft enough to have that outlook, like myself. Now, if I will add on to share that outlook on it. So, basically, the way, I, the way it would work is I would then. But see all the notepads, I didn't realise I wasn't just counting notepads, I had to count them individually by separate barcodes and shit, or separate brands, and I spent about six hours in the same couple sections. And see the rules on one of these shifts, it is fucking demented. Because basically what it is, it's, it's six hours or six hours at the least see it's always on a sunday the store closes completely at six so six is when it when certain rules come to force there's no you know you're you're not an aisle yourself you're in an aisle with other people trying to get the aisle counted faster there is no talking right and the boss walks around and honestly this is when she is a heart fucking biggest pain in the for clipboard right walks around and it's like no, no talking, and it's like, you spend me saying this aisle for between 6 to fucking sometimes 3 in the morning without fucking uttering a word to anybody, really, you fucking piece of shit, honest to fucking god, bro. Um, no, there was, um, it got to a point where me and my colleague and he's actually the night shift manager, me and him were in the cleaning aisle, and it got to the point where we were so fucking pissed off, we just talked loudly, just out of fucking spine. And we probably she stopped telling us off because I think she had. You can hear those fucking tips. And like, it got to the point where she just goes, like, done telling us off, so. Um, we'll probably not be allowed to be near each other this time, but. Honestly, if there's an aisle that I would like to get stuck in for so many hours, there's a couple that I wouldn't mind. Like, electrical wouldn't bother me. Um,. Where else? Kitchen doesn't sound like too bad. Like, kitchen could be manageable. Um, definitely not aisle one or config or cleaning because you would 
I suppose the one good thing though is see if you're stuck in the same section for literally hours and hours. They don't expect you, like they will be pissed off if you're being slow, but see if you go like really fast, they would probably get pissed off if you were to slow down or something. So yeah, that's what else for Fuck, I've been talking for over 15 years. Time flies when you're talking about nonsense that no one watches. Kinda lay on the uh, three minutes to eleven, but let's go to eleven, so yeah, that's pretty much a stock take, I think I've over explained it, but and it was even worse, right? There was two things about it that wrote the fact the things that make those shifts unbearable, it's not the task, right? Even though it's kind of brain damaging, right? And keep in mind, it's silence, but you're not allowed to listen to music. In fact, they regularly tell you to empty out your pockets to make sure your phone's not in your pocket. Which is fucking brain damage, right? Because it's not like a normal, let's say, you're not meant to have your phone on a normal shift, so what you could sometimes do is walk down to the tills and check the little clocks that are there to your time. But it's essentially like, you are fucking, it's... Actually, so there's no talking, there's no checking the time, like, or anything, like, it is completely, shut off, you're not doing anything, um, it's, you don't know when the shift's gonna end, that's the bit no one likes, you literally have no fucking clue when you're getting out, unless of course you're under the age of 18, you walk out at fucking 10 o'clock, and that's all good, but, uh, not fun, so, yeah, and it's the fact that, see, after 12 o'clock, right, that's on night, on, on the night shift, after 12, the night shift pay rate would turn, would click in, till 6 a.m. So, after 12, the stock tech dude will not get a night shift rate, which I think is fucking even more disgusting. So, yeah, I mean, fuck, you've had a long fucking intro. <laughs> fuck. Even then, sorry, remember what stock tech is, this is probably the link for the entire block, it's ended up being, but, yeah. Yeah. So, what's the plan from here? We'll probably go for a chill for like 10 minutes, just relax, and then go for a shower and fit. There's the remote over here. So, yeah. I can text a few people if you can. You can check my eBay because I've been keeping an eye on that recently. I'll find something I want to watch. Uh, and this is a no, honestly, like, uh, I had no idea, I had no idea I'd sit and talk about stock, it's like 10.59, so I've got an hour and a half, re realistically, until I need to leave, I could stretch that to an hour and 45 minutes if I had to, but it's nice to know that I could, um, so, if I was to guess, like, randomly, you know, the rough length of the vlog, I'm gonna guess 25 minutes. As providing I don't do what I've done the last few times and don't make an update when I come in from work because that is a pain in the ass. Right, let's see. Oh, check that army. Honestly, I'm, I had an idea for laying mine out, which I'm not going to try as I don't have the time, but see, tomorrow, the next vlog will have me doing it. I'll obviously see what this person's army is like. I'm pretty sure it's just modern clones. See, that's what I like about mine is some people will only buy add the clones that are current. I went back and bought clones that are no longer current in bulk. So it kind of diversifies it a bit. But I've been watching a lot of people's army videos recently to try and get ideas for mine. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next clip, which could be me leaving. So who knows, maybe half an hour. I'll see you then. You can wait a minute because I'm quickly getting dressed because I wasted time. Like, can I flip more on? I did get a TikTok film because I went four days without doing it and I was like, shit, if I continue to skip days on it, I'm, you know, like, that interaction and stuff I've been getting on there is crazy, so I don't want it to go away. But I've been feeding the YouTube channel like crazy, so, you know, I want that growth to continue, so, yeah. I really should have washed my hair, I didn't even bother. Like, I left it too late to go brush it, I'm not. I got sidetracked by just probable nonsense, knowing what I'm like. Ah, so there we go.
Like, run for two minutes. <laughs> No, I mean, only if we only go short trip or something, there's only four of them. It counts. And I kind of just realized something. The video is slightly incorrect. There's the Imperial short trip. But that one's technically not canon. And I don't think most people will remember that one anyways. I can never open it. Don't know, I've not charged them what I've now charged them once for 20 minutes since I got them, so they clocked out on my shift last night like 10 minutes before the end. But considering today the store closes at 6, I want maximum charge. How about you? Right, I think you. It's a wee bit, a little bit. Trust me, with how cold it's been in that building, I need to fill it. It's the only one I can wear with my hoodie, like, being on shit and not getting trouble for it. Ah, <sighs> uh, we go. I'm here by the fucking key. Yep, well, that's like Jackie, but I just walk in case. Yeah, yeah, I don't need one. Just move over to your phone, just the same. Then, that same USB thing as my phone, so it's like right to the line. So, yeah, I'll unplug this here. Yeah, this vlog, remember I said 25 minutes? That was me calculating the start and the end up there. But going this one, it's probably going to be some practical. I don't want right now, I'm probably well over 20. Right, just my pocket. Okay. Box counter. Just the usual things you can even work. Well, not the key. That's just something that you know. Oh, I told you I'm on a day off. See, I want to do it in a sec, but I'm like, you know, tomorrow's my day off. Just push for today. Today and I'm off for a few days. So, you know, so I'm off for free. Look at that one. Shit, that's. I should have left like 10 minutes ago. Fucking right. Is there anything you know? Yes, I don't want to take the zoom in right this one. Right. That's a stupid user or not. Ready for me? I'm ready to go work. Um, look at this bag. Let me take some of this off. Go away. Yeah. Right. See you again. So, quick update before I go. 
I've literally just been offered a lift to work, which I think has happened once in over two years. I've worked there. We literally the last time that happened was my first day, so I'm not going to complain. I've been picked up from work once or twice, but we didn't have to walk around that rain. I've got, because I'm going to say I've got an hour and 17 minutes to be at work, so like, he's working as well, so. I'm going to run my phone for a really quick update, yeah. I'm going to wear my shoes to work. I see the minute I walk out that building later, I'm going to have to suffer what I did last night. And it was a case of, you know, um, the water seat right in, because it's like, on the boot, there's water sucking a hole around here on the boot, so, instantly, soaked. Yeah, I thought I'd the next update. Just thought, you know, I mean, it's not that I limit intentionally how many I'm going to do, but see if the opportunity presents itself where I you know, can throw something extra. I'll do that. Fun fact for watching, outside is an amber alert storm. I just got home, so I've got a bit of things to work about. It's actually 10 to 12 at night. No, I wasn't waiting on the bus or any of the usual shit that I have to do, but uh, a bit different things um, changed tonight. So there actually is something to talk about that isn't just me complaining, but you know, just for vlog continuity, like, literally, uh, you can't really tell here, but. It was actually chucking wheelie bins and stuff over, like, it was bad. Yeah, just bumping the furniture, smart. Oh my god. What's that noise? Screw it, I need to find some pajama bombs to wear. Or as you can imagine, it was completely First of all, obviously, I went to my work, right, to start my shift, as you would expect. Then, um, from there, it was normal. So then I'm working on power, you know, doing my job, right, and then the boss comes up to me, and she went, I was going to this, right, it was, Stephen Taylor, I like, so, you know, I walk up to the office, and it was, right, so, night shift, yes, I'm like, yes, you know, get a bit of extra cash, go. So I'm doing it two nights this week. I was like, yeah, cool, that's enough. I'm not in work till Thursday, and then Thursday will be so just turn up a night shift, folks. They just don't seem to stay dead. I mean, fuck, come Thursday, it'll be over a month since the last one, so I'm exactly right. I know for a fact this is gonna hurt and suck like fuck. But I was like, so initially in the app sets on like 37 hours, I was like, ah, overtime, let's go. And then they cut it. They removed my other shift and left the night shift, so the point where I go with my base contract hours. So, um, they changed it, instead of me getting overtime, it's my normal hours, but I'll get the night shift bonus in. Which isn't even that much, so it's like, great, you've fucked me, you've prevented me from actually making this worth my time. Let me try to get in here. So basically, they have completely screwed me over, and I'm not happy about it. Um. Yeah, not great. So that's pretty much just it. Um, Game Force one. So basically, they also cut this shift. So originally, it makes no difference. I'm filming this much later than I wanted to. I think I was away with friends. You know, when it comes to tea, just drinking. You know, having fun. Not drunk. Cause I was watching. So I think we watched Independence Day. So I mean, that's a fun one. Just a bit of checking one. 
email so it's just stupid shit it's like nothing that's actually relevant um so amber alert storms so that's fun <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much just like what happened with me today um the curtain shift so i left there i'll turn that light on i left there at around what mm. I was, my last shift ended at 8 and doing all something like me left for work, it's messing with pictures of shit that I did wrong. I left that cardboard box there as a bin. I even wrote on the shop a bin and she's bitching and bitching, the manager bitching like. And I was texting the manager, person and says, you've got a fucking problem with me, no, there's an issue. Don't have that little shit to work, be the one messaging me when she's not my fucking boss, she's not a manager. Also, I didn't know order that, I ordered it politely, but you get my point. So I'm gonna stay up for a bit. My point is I need to move. So I'm not in work tomorrow, so I can't just get away and enjoy myself. So this is not the final clip I was initially it was going to be, but you know, I have a plan. Change the source. Turn on the lamp. Wait, why is the source going to feel so bad? Is it back to scan? HDMI on. Or is it no HDMI? Wait. There we go. Perfect. Let's hold up the game. I'll talk to you how the game is loaded up, right? I'll definitely get some stuff once I go off the 360 lenses. I'm going to mute it in case the music comes over. Plus, I'm talking anyway, so why should I? I've also come to the conclusion that I need to get shoes ASAP. My oh, fuck, that volume come back on. Right, sorted. I need to get shoes because my other ones I have currently are absolutely fucked. I mean, that's not great. Well, listen, it's, it's four days or total payday. Thank fuck. And. I've done the maths, you forget what I think I'm getting, obviously you have to count in there's tax, national insurance, all that shit. It's looking like a good one. So, we're not quite ready to cross over at the midnight, but more or less, I'll see you guys when I see you. So, I said to myself, right, I'll play for a little bit, I guess what, it's fucking 20 to 3. Fuck. So, uh, just what I've been playing as Trevor, to be doing missions. Because it's me, I'm going to, oh, like most people do, so I'm going to save it twice, just to be sure. Plus, I've got this fast forward again time as well. Controller. <clears throat> so I'm not necessarily going to sleep right now, but yeah, definitely is not fun. doing that right oh yeah i hope it's working but it's on the phone at the back 
the back of this broke out two years ago and I've never bothered to even take the battery in, that's bad. This is weird. Oh shit. Right. I'm going to the toilet while I'm very one moment. Oh, no, no. oh good. That nippy thing or sometimes it just doesn't work completely so Yeah but I'm just, I'm just gonna be chilling for a couple hours. I mean I'm already so tempted just to pull on all night alright and stay up most of the day then go to bed at like eight at night which means I like all those ultimate forms of sleep but no one may probably won't do see what's going on YouTube. But, you know, can you know what today was, so it's always pretty long. But I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. It is quarter to fucking three. Christ.